Hi folks, Sonia Ash here from Ash Design. Today I'm going to show you how to use our popular Amped Effects Photoshop templates. So I've already got a template open here and I've also got some images ready um, to put into it that you can see the tabs for up here. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing we're going, going to do is add our image to this. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the layer where I want to add this our cutout photo. I've already cut out our image here. Um, we've got plenty of videos that show you how to do that and I can put a link to those in the um, item description down below. But so for now let's go ahead and click on our move tool then we will click on our image drag it up to the template tab and let's drop it right onto the canvas and that'll put him on the canvas right where we want it in the layer palette from here we can size it to fit, um, so control or command T on your keyboard and grabbing any one of the four corners, hold down your shift key and you're going to size that. Um, and by holding down the shift key it'll size your image proportionally. We want to avoid distorting it. So go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to affect that change. And that looks pretty good there. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change up the color of these swirls. Um, their logo has some red in it, and I actually have the logo open here in another tab. So if we grab our uh, eyedropper tool, we can click on that, and that color will become our foreground color. So let's go ahead and go back to the template. and. Picking our color layers down below here, we've got three color swirls, all separate so that you can move them around. Um, so we're going to do Control or Command U to bring up our hue saturation palette. And now that we have red as our foreground color, we're going to choose Colorize. And that's going to change the color of it, but the saturation is pretty low. So you're going to bump that saturation up until you have it about where you want that to be. Um, I'm not going to bring it all the way up because I think that's too much, but let's take note of this 85 number because we have two more that we want to change. So let's go to the next color swirl and control or command U on the keyboard, choose colorize, and in this saturation slider, let's just type in 85 since we've, we already know what that number is. And then for the last one, control or command U, click colorize and 85. So now we've got our color swirls matching our logo. Uh, the next thing we can do here is if you want to move around any of these powder layers, um, there's a couple of them, just grab your move tool and you can sort of move them anywhere you'd like on the on your canvas. There's another one um, that's on top of him. but So this just gives you an idea of where you can be moving these. I think I will leave it back tucked in over there and the one behind maybe just go up just a little that works for me okay and all of these um, layers are movable there's a nice honeycomb strip over here you can move that around anywhere you'd like it it works best over here so that it's not interfering with your text so we'll leave that right where it is but I just wanted to let you know that all of these um, layers you can move them around any way you'd like Let's go ahead and edit the text next. So we'll start with his first name. So we're just going to find the T uh, in your layer palette, double click on it. That selects the whole thing and you can just type right over that. And we'll go ahead and do his last name. And you can move these around any way you would like. Um, let's go ahead and We'll do the number first because then we'll move everything around to sort of fix it the way we'd like. Okay, so now with your move tool selected here, you can move these in position any way you would like them to be. Um, I kind of like them justified to the right here and uh, justified to the left rather. And then the number justified to the right. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So the last thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and we want to edit this puck. And this is sort of in a nice 3D perspective already. Um, and we've chosen to do this with smart objects so that you don't have to try and get your text to wrap you know, around the curve or to be in this sort of 3D perspective. So let's open up our puck folder over here. And you'll see that there are two layers here to edit. You can edit the side and you can edit the face. So I'm going to zoom into this so that we can see what we're 
exactly what we're changing here. Let's go ahead and edit the side first. So you're going to double click right on the smart object here and that's going to open up your text there. Just gonna, just the way you um, edited text before, double click on the T and you're gonna type right over that. You're gonna save that and if you go back to your template you'll see that it updated it for you there, the smart object updated. Um, then we're gonna edit the face of this. So again, double click on the face. This is where we can swap out the logos if we choose. So I've already got a logo in here. Um, where is my logo? I've got my logo open. So again, with my move tool selected, I'm going to click on my logo and I'm going to drag it into my smart object. There we go. Then we can position this. We're going to turn off the other logo. We don't need that on. Uh, Controller Command T to transform, hold down your shift key and grab any one of the four corners to, trans, uh, to size this up proportionally. And then hit enter on your keyboard to affect that change. Uh, one thing you'll want to do on this is we're going to want to change this um, layer mode. It looks best with lighten and you can see that brought out the scratches of the puck just to make it look a little bit more authentic. Um, next thing we'll do is move around uh, some of these text layers. 2020 can go up a little bit, so let's just kind of put that in place. And let's go ahead and edit the text on the circle. Um, so we're ju we'll just, again, double click on the T. That selects everything. Just type right over it. Okay. And I'm going to leave official game puck on the bottom. You can change it to whatever you'd like. And then we'll go ahead and we'll save that. And then let's go back to our, our template. And you can see that it has updated the face of that puck. So let's zoom back out. And then you can see that this is how we edit this particular Photoshop template.